I just got an amazing phone call. <laughs> what was your plan? <laughs> Ready? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna back up. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna back okay. up. Yep. <laughs> Where am I hung up at? Uh, you're just spinning. Look out. Look out. I'm not even deep snow. No, you're, you're just, it's just so slick. Only push it forward. the most wor biggest workout I've gotten in like a week more than that a month well I went inside got all undressed got a call he made it from there <laughs> to here <sighs> it's just a layer of ice underneath everything I mean, literally though, it's just, it rained and then it snowed, so, like, there's rocks underneath here, but there's an inch of ice on top of everything. You ready? <laughs> I gotta finish my pallet wrecking order, but. Okay, sounds good. Well, we, so I should move the snow from the buildings and pile it, so that way you can blow it. Push it that, yeah, kind of get it out here so I can blow it. Okay. See, we have been just pushing it with this skid steer so far this year, but if you look at the tires, this is the best tire out of all of them. And then we got, got this, this race and slick. How's this side? Yeah, they're both kind of race and slicks on this side. Um, but you got that new snow blower, so. Basically, if you could push all the snow like from here up to here. Okay. Uh, that way we can make it so Chris doesn't get his car stuck in the yard three times in ten minutes. Yeah. And then yeah. I, I brought the drone along too, so we can get some cool shots of his new snow blower going. But I need to pile it up for you first. I should see. Do I get to see if I knock it out of the sky? Like <laughs> <laughs> you probably could, honestly. Probably just point it straight up. Probably uh, shoots, uh, it, probably uh, shoots it 100 foot in the air. Then when you're, then when you, uh, oh, it's your drone. I'll, so open you, the, I'll open the shoot up and see if I can. I brought your drone, so you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have no traction. I'm like my brother and his car. I just can't move. I got to get out here. Let's get a run for it. Got to be honest, I think in like the five years I've been doing YouTube, this is my first time ever making a snow moving video. But now that I am graduated from college and basically doing YouTube full time and farming, 
I have the opportunity to make a lot more content for you guys and from what I have learned and reading from the comments, you guys just like videos of whatever I am doing. And if it's moving snow, it's moving snow. Or? Yeah, sure, bolt down here. Uh, your snow blower turned into a snow plow. I had the drone going, I was trying to call you and fly a drone, it wasn't going very good. It, it, it was blowing there, though, yeah. There's I think you were blowing until you uh, stopped moving over there. <laughs> right where another bolt is. <laughs> Can you put it through the other way? I think this one I have in my left hand is a shorter one. Oh, that'll work, won't it? Yeah. See, good thing I'm here. Good thing. <laughs> so you can tell how much snow we've gotten because of the size of these piles. So, but right here is eye level with me and it goes up a lot from there. I mean, these piles will probably be halfway done with planting and there'll still be snow, small piles here because this packed snow does not melt very well. I'm 
amazed by how quickly a nine foot snowblower will bring a 320 horsepower tractor to its knees. I don't know how to sign language to you that your spinny spinners aren't spinny spinning anymore. What's that? I don't know how to sign language to you that your spinny spinners aren't spinning. The uh, shear bolt's broken again. Those are the last two bolts I had. Okay, well, it's a good snowblower, but you can't go into that with 300 horsepower. Yeah, Maybe it takes more bolts. It's more than two? Maybe they run four. Oh. <laughs> that don't seem right to me. Four or two? Four. That's going to get an awful lot of shear bolts. Again, I don't have a manual. <laughs> hey, Hitchcock, you want to send us a manual? That'd be okay. Heck, we won't even pick it up. Yeah, we'll even pick it up. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, back to the shop we go. Because... Oh, uh, yeah, we might as well. Well, I mean, you can't do much. I wanted to get this blown this way while the wind was in our favor, but... Yeah, I don't even have any bolts, so that was less. Last two of that size? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm on phone mode now. We we're driving on the way home, and the, the county grader went in the ditch. It's just so, so dang slippery everywhere. I mean... Like, just ice. actually worked a lot better than I thought it would, not gonna lie. I was afraid the tractor was gonna sit there and spin out. Pop that grade right out of there. I give a lot of credit to all the county workers, township workers, state workers, everyone who's driving these graders and these plows, trying to keep the roads clean. It's a job that I do not wanna do, but man, they work all day trying to keep these roads clear, especially in the weather that we've had the past few weeks. They do an amazing job. And it is icy out today. Like, like that blade gets caught on the littlest thing, it's gonna pull you right in the ditch. I'm surprised more stuff hasn't gotten stuck, to be honest. Like, heck, I didn't get it on film, but earlier today I was um, using the skid steer along the edge of the road, and same thing, at the edge of the bucket caught, it just pulled me right in the ditch, and Dad had to pull me out with the tractor. So, that's the second thing the tractor's pulled out today. So, there is four shear bolts in. The looks of it. Well, I don't know. I, I've never seen anybody use more than one shear bolt. Maybe it's not shear bolts. Maybe it's just supposed to be attached, and for some reason it's not. They're shear bolts. You sure? Well, this spins freely. True. But usually you just put use one big shear bolt, and the shear bolt's size to the power power that you want it to break at. Usually you don't run multiple ones, but usually there's like 
there might be four holes on this side, but there's just one hole on this side. Mm -hmm. So you don't put extra shear bolts in. So I don't know, the one up here has just the one. Yep. And that's not that big a bolt. I mean, it's, it's a size bigger. It's a, this is 3 eighths. What's the next size bigger? 11, 6, I don't know. But, uh, Maybe. Six, six, seven, six, seven, six, seven, six eighths. I had to do a fraction in my head. But I don't know what the story is on this one. I mean, that, that one up there should be the protection, I think. But, but I don't want to break shear bolts every five minutes, but I don't want to break it either. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. All right. Well, we're, we're gonna let it. We think there maybe got some some snow in between the gear here and the auger, so we're gonna let it sit overnight, let it warm up, and then quickly we had to head to it's my brother's birthday, so we're gonna head to supper at night for him. But we're gonna get these duels put away off this tractor quickly. <laughs> Wait for it to melt and work on it when it's warmer. Yeah, I don't know how much it's gonna be. Melt it in the morning either. Yeah, I bet you'd be surprised. But well, that isn't too major, so I think we can handle that. Yeah, hopefully, we're not supposed to have snow again for a little while, so. Right. All right, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one.